Hey, what's going on everyone? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and in this video we're going to be talking about the latest generation AMD GPUs, the 7000 series. With the 7900 XTX and XT coming out soon, I want to just remind you all to be patient, right? First off, this card is going to be super attractive to everyone because it offers a great performance per watt and a great performance per dollar when comparing against the Nvidia generation GPUs like the 4080. And this card, from what I've seen so far in the reviews, is basically on par or greater than the 4080 for a much more reduced price. And so from a gamer's perspective, they're going to want to get these hands on these GPUs uh, to be able to fulfill whatever needs that they might have. But then you also have the miners that want to get their hands on these GPUs because of the efficiency, right? The amount of hash per watt that you can get. That's really what it's all about. So be patient with one another. Don't fight one another. Uh, we'll see how AMD stock pans out. But this GPU is definitely very attractive to all sorts out there including content creators or uh you know i want to say uh media or, or or enthusiasts in the media space because it has plenty of memory it's got all the performance it doesn't compete against a 4090 nor did amd say it would but it's still very attractive and unfortunately already we have a, a pretty decent amount of speculation out there as far as hash per watt goes because you can just do a little bit of math get you know you know get the memory bandwidth the overall uh, memory bus with so on and so forth. And you can kind of speculate on what the hash rate is going to be. Matter of fact, NiceHash already has it added to their mining calculator, but they do notate that the values might not be correct. So you really want to wait for day one coverage. And it might be a minute before you those content creators in the crypto mining space can even bring you actual data because, again, drivers are not going to be optimized and the miner devs are going to be getting their hands on these GPUs just about the same time that you might be so you just got to be patient but on here nice hash is speculating around 100 mega hash on etc hash or dagger hash at 280 watts on uh reddit we got a little bit of an argument on this one here this person is claiming 130 mega hash on eth hash and 65 on kapow but you'd really just need to wait because dizzy mining already has these gpus on hand but the miners can't utilize it the device is unsupported and our DNA and new architecture always cause these issues. We've seen this countless generations over the past couple of years. So AMD GPUs are not going to run off rip. But if you give it time, let the AMD drivers get optimized as AMD continues to work forward, as well as these minor devs get their hands on these GPUs, they'll continue to make tweaks and optimizations to their miners to really start allowing you to mine with these GPUs. But you're going to have to give it some more time because usually you while you might be able to mine with these GPUs, it takes time for it to become even more efficient or for them to draw as much power as they possibly can or as much hash rate as they possibly can at the reduced uh, power draw. So be patient is what I'm saying. Uh, be nice to the gamers uh, and, my, and gamers be nice to the miners. Uh, it's a very attractive GPU. A lot of people are going to want their hands on it. It's got plenty of memory. Uh, it can serve a number of roles from a gamer perspective, a content creator perspective, you know, AutoCAD, whatever it might be, compute workloads, uh, mining, the whole nine yards. So a lot of people are going to want to get their hands on the GPUs because of the reduced price compared to the NVIDIA 4080. While the 4090 is still king, uh, it seems that the next best GPU that you can get right now uh, in the current space of technology is going to be the 7900 XTX with the 7900 XT not too far behind and just a little bit below the 4080 depending on the title or the workload. So just be patient, give it some time, uh, be nice to one another is what I'm saying and that's pretty much it, right? Let the minor devs get their hands on it, let the AMD uh, driver team continue to make optimizations and we'll get to see more performance out of these GPUs over time. But that's going to do it for today's video. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Make sure to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date. As well as check out links in the description to help support the channel and what we do here. And you have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one.